Hello? Stop, Siri. I'm not talking to you. Are you actually calling? You sound very capable, Alexandra. We're going to be monitored, and yeah. nobody We're gonna is going to be able free. to do anything without the government knowing where you're going. And I don't mean that in like a crazy, like they're stalking us way. I mean that in like literally, you're going to be part of this droid world. Same way, I guess it just depends on who's talking to me. Like, if it's my dad, I'll take it. If it's work, I'll yeah. take it. If it's some random person that I never talked to that wants a favor, <laughs> which happens a lot, which happens a lot, <laughs> I'm like, meh, no. I use my phone mostly. Um, I do use my laptop as well, but I just I need to have email and text messages at all times. I probably spend like eight hours looking at a computer. Um, all together, I probably spend about an hour a day of my life looking at my phone. It's kind of sad. I'm on the computer a lot. Uh, my job requires it, so that's at least six or seven hours a day. Then I go home and watch Netflix or play Facebook games. Shh, don't tell anybody I said that. <laughs> For like two or three hours. And then TV I'm not big on. Like My phone I'm not big on. I'll answer a text, but I don't need it on me at all times. Like. It's not something that has to be at my side. I do get anxious when my phone breaks because I like having one, but I don't need it with me at all times. You're only connect to the outside world as of late. Like this generation, we don't understand like how to send mail. I have people ask me where post offices are or like how many stamps you put on something. Like nobody knows how to do the normal anymore. So if you don't have a phone, you just, you can't talk to anybody that you know because that's the only way you know how to contact them. And sometimes I will get updates to my phone to find out about current events before I, I go home and watch the news. So if there's an Amber Alert, I get it to my phone. If there's like a hurricane coming, I will see it blown up on Facebook before I actually go home at night and turn on the news and watch the weather and see, oh, Hurricane Sandy is coming. Like, I didn't hear about Hurricane Sandy until my phone told me. day and age it's important like it's a good way to like interact with each other but I think it's becoming too prominent it's one of those things that we put too much on like most people won't leave the house without cell phones which is kind of sad like what did you do before that what would you do if a tower went down right. or like we had a blackout and you couldn't charge your phone like how are people gonna survive in five years when Right. You know, the world starts ending and everything <laughs> starts flipping out without technology. Exactly. It's a mess. Like, if I go to the laundromat, it's literally around the corner from my house. It's not even a block away. I can't go without my cell phone. If I, like, I've gone without my cell phone once, like, felt like I was forgetting stuff, <laughs> like, was having a panic attack, and then I realized, oh my god, my phone is in my room. As soon as I got home, I felt better. Okay, I didn't get my first cell phone until I was 18, and that's only because I was driving. My seven-year-old niece got a phone. She got an iPhone 3, an iPhone 3 when it came out, and I thought that that was crazy. Who did she need to call? Like, it's just, it's too much. I think it's cool that they're using them more in schools, like for teaching, like they're using iPads and like interactive whiteboards and stuff like that. Like, that's cool, but little kids don't need phones. No. I totally agree with that. I think... Giving a child a phone is, you're basically asking them to do things in private, like have a secret life, giving them a Facebook that doesn't have privacy settings on it. You're asking these kids to like learn about sex and flirt with boys and trade numbers and dirty pictures. Get away with cyberbullying. You're asking for yeah, it. They can make Whereas up like super I had games. a beeper when I was 12 to 13, just so that my mother could say 911, get your butt home. Our brains need to be stimulated constantly, and I think technology has a lot to do with that. We yeah. can't just sit anymore. I agree. Like when I, even when I'm watching a movie, if I'm at home, I find myself texting or yeah. playing guitar or something. I can't just sit and watch the movie. Same thing. Like when I leave the office, I'm still working because I'm texting my boss or I'm setting something up on the internet or on the calendar for the next day. So it's like even though my eight hours are done, 
I'm still working from home. We no longer speak to each other anymore. Like, see you soon. Like, we spell that way now. We no longer. Yeah, that's sad. I hate that. It's not S E E. It's Y O U. It's C U soon. What? We're just gonna be. You know what? We're we're all gonna be spoiled. We're gonna have credit card chips in our fingers to pay for things. We're gonna I'm be able of that. to do I'm like everything lie. from home, work, grocery shop, <coughs> everything that you would normally do out in the normal world, you're gonna be able to do from home.